What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films. This one's coming up on a Sunday. I told you guys I'd have one coming up. Uh, this one is something that I know a lot of you are interested in as far as doing with A-frame blinds. This is the AVNX A-frame blind. I'm just going to show you guys the functions of it, why I really like it, and why I think it's actually worth the money. These things are expensive, but when you invest in something like this, you really, really have to take care of it, and if you do, it'll last you a long time. And they are very portable, and they are very functional, and serve the purpose of what they're supposed to do very well. So let's get into this one. Everybody that's seen the last video, uh, I asked you guys to give me an intro clip, send me, email me a five second intro clip. I only got a couple. Uh, so once again, state, hi, my name is Troy. I'm from Canada and you're watching Bobby Guy Films. So if you guys wanna do that, throw your name, throw where you're from, make it five seconds, email me right here. And uh, I'd greatly appreciate it because I wanna make an intro with all that stuff and having you guys in it would be sick as tits. Woo. Uh, trains. So enough jibber jabbering, let's uh, get into this A-frame blind. A little bit of review slash show you guys how to use it slash my two cents about it. So let's go. Good Lord. All right. So here it is guys. The good thing about this, it has a shoulder strap. Now it's heavy as hell. It's actually hurting the hell out of my shoulders without a bunch of padding on like coats and whatnot. But it rolls up like this. This is why it's so portable. Everything about it is rolled up in this bad boy. All right, I'm gonna have to point you guys down. I hope the angle works. So guys, this green, this is just a strap system. Unbuckle, unbuckle, that's what keeps it all together. Just wherever you wanna put it, put it right where you wanna set it up basically. Roll this bad boy out. As you can see in the end, this is all of our bars. This is this is the whole structure to the thing of what makes it an A-frame. Oh, and by the way, thank you to Mr. Gerald for letting me use this. This is actually my buddy Gerald's. Uh, not personally mine, but we all use it. This is his. Thank you, buddy. First order of business is to uh, construct the whole frame system. I'm gonna move this out of the way, we'll bring that in and construct it because it's kind of a process. All right, so what I do guys, what's in these are the short ones. These what will go, this is what goes on the end of the A-frame, it's these ones. It's just one solid piece. And then there's these really long massive ones. Now, what these do is have little bungee chains on them. So they break over and they fold up like so. But put them together, make sure that the ends are facing the same way, like they're not, like that. So, ends are facing the same way. I go ahead and I assemble all these. I uh, get them all set out because it makes it a lot easier. And I wanna save on some video time. All right, so I got all of them built and ready to be assembled into the A-frame. So I'm gonna start that process right here. I'll kind of describe as I go, but there might be a little fast forwarding uh, action going on. So, man, I'm rusty. It's going to take me a minute. All right. I remember the secret. Find you. This here is a long one, but it's like a medium long one. These are longer than this. You have two of these. You have two of these pieces. Um, assemble this. Find your end piece. This is where we're going to start one of the ends. This is what makes it easier, is by starting one of the ends first and then working basically back through the blind to build it. I'm gonna kind of get it started and then I can describe what we're doing. All right guys, so this is what I had to do. I had to get this end done so this thing will stand up by itself. This is one of the long ones. So the long ones are the bottom runners, middle and top runners. So let's put all that together. Everything is as easy, just snap in fit. There's no screwing, you don't have to screw with any bolts in or do anything like that. So this time we'll do the other end. All right, there's that end. Once that's done, guys, 
Now it's the easy part. Now you just throw in the rest of these long ones. You don't really need to, guys. The only time you kind of need to, guys, is when you're putting the canvas material on, but I'm sure we can get it done by ourselves today. So, finish putting the rest of these long runners in. This is what supports the entire length of the canvas. It lays up on here, you'll see in just a minute. All right, guys, I know you can't see it from that far away, so I'm gonna bring you up here and give you an up close look of what's going on here. So this is the end of it. Uh, this is how everything fits in. Everything is just a little slot style. I hope you guys can see that. You just push it in there. So like I said, each end is literally just a square fitting like this, and you just snaps right on there like so. so it makes it extremely convenient and easy to use. This is this this product I truly believe in. It's a very lightweight metal. So like I said, guys, keep care of it. Take care of this thing and it'll last you. It's very light metal. That's the only downfall to this, but they had to do that to make it light. So let's uh, I'm going to sit you guys back up here. I'm going to sit you guys back up here and we're going to throw on the canvases and I will show you the inside of it and uh, how the canvases strap to the frame. One guy, this kind of sucks, but so once one side of the canvas has a loop in it that catches right over the top of that. That's how that fits to it. Now grab the other, grab the other end, pull it up, up over the top, do the same thing. Put the tube in the hole. Boom. There's one side. The grass is going a little wild, but you get the hint. So we we'll put this one too, put it right in the hole, grab the other end. Do the same thing. Slide it right in the hole. Oh. So now that both sides are on, I probably look like a sweaty mess. It is a muggy dude out here. I already got a man pond going. But, so here's our entry. We haven't buttoned anything together yet. Everything's just basically assembled and not fastened. So how this works is, all along this bar, there are these Velcro straps. It strap these to the pole. I'm, I can't do it one-handed because I have the camera in the other hand, but they run along this whole top edge, one right here, you strap it to the pole, one right here, strap it to the pole, down that side, along the bottom. This thing, guys, I truly believe in. This product is a, just a one-off great idea of a product, guys. This thing is so versatile. You can use this in the field, beside a pond. I've used it for pigeon hunting. Um, these things are just extra, 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 extra versatile, guys. I can't say enough about these. I'm not sponsored by them. We have no, we do no business with, with Avian, which I, which I wish I did. I really do. But I'm almost out of breath. I'm going to crawl on this thing to let you see how big it is. Alrighty, as you can see, guys, this thing has a bunch of room. Usually set your bucket down. Any type of small bucket, five gallon bucket, small chair, hunting chair will work just fine. This thing has a bunch of room. Really, I am six foot two, about 200 pounds. Um, for me, this says that this is a four man A-frame blind. I give it a three man. Uh, there's just enough room to where really comfortable where you have a lot of movement with your gun and shoulder width. It's really a three man comfortable. There is enough room in here to do what you need. You can really duck down and get low. This, this bucket's actually a hair high, but uh, on the ends here, if you think it's a big deal, you can always buckle these up to cover off the ends, but it's never really that big of a deal. So, I love these things. They're extremely useful. I, uh, I uh, 
really recommend you guys if you have the money and you think you're gonna get the, the use out of this thing, I really recommend these things because these things offer a whole nether type of hunting. For one, you, you guys know laying on the ground, it can get uncomfortable, especially when you do it every weekend when it's literally your only option how you're gonna hunt, you know what I mean? So being able to, for one thing, these things will get you out of the wind, so that's a plus. And for two, you're able to sit upright. I shoot a lot better most, some, most of the time, bleh, most of the time when I'm able to be sitting upright. These things are amazing. Um, I really wanna do the homemade A-frame blind build, guys. So in, if any of you have made an, a homo, bleh, I can't talk again, a homemade A-frame blind, let me know in the description down below. Let me know if you guys have ever hunted out of one, what brand it was, and if you've ever hunted out of a homemade one and what it was made out of, because I'm really interested in doing a homemade A-frame blind. We could use another one, especially even a couple more. So let me know guys if that's something you're interested in. And if you've made one, let me know how you made it because I have a bunch of ideas. I just don't know which route to go. So guys, I do want to thank you for watching yet again. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can tell when I upload because I'm doing three to four videos. I did four videos this week. I'm doing three to four videos every week, mainly duck and goose hunting how to's preparing all of you and myself for this upcoming season. It helps me tidy up things, organize stuff, and get ready to slay some fowl in the fall. Yellow. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching yet again. A-frame blind, go cop you one. They're money. I'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy this time lapse as I tear this thing down and roll it up. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.